All right, so um, solving radical equations or equations that involve rational exponents. So our learning goals that are that we can solve an equation that has a rational exponent, and we can solve a simple radical equation. Okay? So we've learned how to solve exponential equations, and those are equations in which the variable x is in the exponent. That's how you know it's an exponential equation. And we use the method of common basis to solve these equations. But now we're going to learn a different technique for solving an equation like this, which is not an exponential equation. Because x is not in the exponent. Everyone say that? x is not in the exponent. But I do want to get x by itself using inverse operations. So what operation do you think I would do to both sides to get x by itself? No. No, that is a group. Good. So the power of 3. So if I put this side to the power of 3, I have to put this side to the power of 3. So if I have x to the 1 third to the 3, what exponent rule can I use to simplify that? Multiply. So if I multiply 1 third by 3, what do I get? 3 over 3, which is 1. So that is x to the 1, right? Put it there, but I don't really need to. 4 to the power of 3 is 64. So x is equal to 64. Yeah, so it's not hard. I remember when I learned this lesson in high school, I, I don't know, it just made me feel powerful for some reason. <laughs> it did. I really liked it. All right, so solve each equation for the variable. Show your thinking. So same idea, x to the 1 quarter equals 3. What do you think I would do to both sides to get x by itself? Power 4 this time, because a quarter times 4 gives me 1. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Okay, so do you see that 4 is the reciprocal of 1 quarter? If I flip 1 quarter up by 9 and 4, think about that idea. So that's going to give me x equal to 81. Because 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Okay, x to the negative one third equals six. So what do you think that would be both sides here? Negative one third is Don't need to do that. What power could I raise this to so that when I multiply I get x to the one? Negative three. <laughs> nice. See, you feel powerful. <laughs> x to the negative one third to the negative three. So multiply the exponents and you get x to the one. But six to the negative three now we do Darius. So we go one over six to the third so that we can actually evaluate it, which is one over 216. Nice. Okay, it's getting more fun. X to the two thirds equals 16. What do you think I would do to both sides? How do you make one? Think about it. We want to get the same, we want to get the same number over the same, yep. Put it to the exponent three halves, yes you would. <laughs> okay, so the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves, so when you multiply the tops together you get six, and when you multiply the bottoms together you get six, and six over six is one. Okay? But whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So you're going to get x 
equals 16 to the 3 over 2, but we know how to solve that from yesterday. How do I figure out 16 to the 3 over 2? Square root of 16 cubed. Nice. And the square root of 16 is 4. And 4 cubed is 64. Okay, so try the next one. Hang out. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay, so how many people did that? Yes? Okay, so two negatives multiplied to a positive. So, and it really is just the reciprocal. Okay, so it multiplied by the reciprocal or raise it to the power of the reciprocal of each one. So that's going to give you x. So you'll get positive 10 over positive 10, which is 1 next to the 1, is 243 to the negative 2 fifths. And now you've got to simplify that based on yesterday. So your next step would be to go 1 over 243 to the positive 2 fifths. Or you could go straight to the step where you write it as the fifth root of 243 squared. And the fifth root of 243 is 3, so 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9. Okay. Any questions about that one? All right. Hmm. Okay, so we've got x to the power of 1 third is equal to 2 sevenths. Any ideas of what we would do to both sides to get x by itself? Jeff? Yes, raised to the power of 3. So that's going to give me x. And then you have to apply the power of 3 to the top and the bottom. So 2 to the third is 8. And 7 to the power of 3 is 343. Okay? All right, try out. to the exponent 2 over 3. Okay, good. So that gives me x on the left side. On the right side, I have to apply that exponent to the top and to the bottom. Okay? So it's going to be 27 to the 2 thirds over 125 to the 2 thirds. This is going to be the third root of 27 squared over the third root of 125 squared. So the third root of 27 is 3 squared over 5 squared is 9 over 25. And I saw a lot of people on that. Okay, um, you guys try to and H. Okay, 
six square root of negative four thirds. So what? Yeah. Okay, good. So that gives me x by itself. So I'm going to flip this fraction and make the exponent positive. Yes. Okay. And then apply it to the numerator and the denominator. So it's going to be third root of 27 to the fourth over third root of 8 to the fourth. 3 to the fourth over 2 to the fourth, which is 81 over 16. Yes, good. You can do that one, you can do any of them. All right, and x to the 1 fifth equals 4. I'm just ignoring after that one. So what would I do to both sides? This is the power of 5. So x equals 1 to 5. 1,000 times 4. Great. Okay, solve each simple radical equation. Okay, so to solve a radical equation, we're just going to turn it into one of these rational exponent equations. Okay, so I would rewrite that as x to the one third equals seven. And now, what would I do to both sides? Yeah. So x would be 343. Okay. So similar for b, I would change this to x to the one quarter equals three. And then put both sides to the fourth. Change C into exponential form. Or X. X to the power of 2 over 3. Good. So the exponent on top, the root on the bottom of the rational function equals 25. And once you've got that right, you're going to raise both sides to the power of 3 over 2. Good. So x equals, so that's going to be the square root of 25 to the power of 3. And I'll get x equals 5 to the power of 3, which is 125. Okay, find the next one. Okay, this one a lot of people make mistakes on. What? How do you rewrite the left side? X to the 3 over 2. Good. A lot of people just put x to the 3rd because they don't see a number in there. They forget there's a 2. Okay? So that's the biggest thing if you want to start this one. Don't forget that just plain square root means the bottom number in the fraction is a 2. Once you've got that, it's the same. You would then have put both sides to the power of 2 over 3. Alright, this in radical form, so it would be the third root of 27 squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, so this 3 over 2 here, especially the over 2 part, is the part that gets forgotten 
Okay, that's the most common mistake I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll let you try the last two, and then we'll take them. All right. So, um, everybody, let's do an X to the one third for this. And then raising each side to the power of three. And then applying the exponent to the numerator and the denominator. Are you good for that one? This one, everybody was doing x to the 5 over 3 equals 32 over 243. And then yeah, x by itself, raising both sides to the power of 3 fifths. Okay. And then getting x equal to, apply the exponent to the numerator, it would be fifth root of 32 cubed over fifth root of 243 cubed. And then fifth root of 32 is 2, still cubed. Uh, fifth root of 243 is 3 cubed. So 8 over 27. Excellent. Okay, that's, that's it for the first lesson.